Kung Fu Mechmen. I'm an artist uh, and I'm using a lot of material to express my art. But the main material of my art is a chicken, a living chicken. I discovered that the chicken is uh, an animal that lives all over the world and it was by human interest that it, uh, that it went all over the world. So it becomes some kind of a metaphorical thing uh, to tell things about life. And I do uh, crossbreeding with chickens. So I discovered that in every country you have a specific chicken who lives in that country. So I will crossbreed them going to another direction, you know. You tell a lot about globalization, uh, genetic engineering, cloning and all these kinds of things. So the big issues in life. And this is expressed in my art. And you think about humanity because this is the goal, this is a metaphor for life. Uh, I have them of eight different spots in the world. In Africa, in Arusha, where I have also a couple of them in Germany, in Holland, everywhere. chicken as a metaphor for human existence and the egg as a metaphor for the world and the library of the future. This is the cage, this is the central point of the whole show. I'm talking about the crossbreeding, you know. I'm crossbreed also now with America. In America they made the biggest chicken in the world, which is the Jersey Giant. So no, the hands are in. And this is the result of already three crossbreedings of these different countries, Belgium, France and England. He's the one who makes the connection with America. It's all about generation. Humanity is also about generation. There is the incubator. The incubator where there are no eggs in this case, there are no eggs because this fertilizing thing is already, did, I did it already in 2003, but this is the expression in art. So you hear the sound of the chicken, the desire of the outcome to get a new generation. This piece actually tells the very beginning of my project is me who shouting to a chicken. The chicken gives itself to this project, on the other hand it's refusing. This is exactly the position where I am in as an artist. As an artist, you have to stay out of this situation and to watch. On this LCD projector, you see the red jungle foal. The red jungle foal is the primal chicken, the chicken who lives on the feet of the Himalaya. There's only one chicken in the world. This one is watching into the cage, seeing the offspring. This was my first generation crossing. From that moment that I realized that I'm in the position to listen to the chicken that refuses itself, and for the other hand that it gives itself, I discover that the shouting is a shouting is deep inside of this chicken. So he's shouting to his transparent cells. And if you stand here in front of this installation, you look to yourself. So it's exactly the same position as this chicken does. So the metaphor of the humanity is into this whole installation. What's inside of the crossing happens in these drawings. It's some kind of genetic exposure of what's going on in the crossing. This is the crossbreeding of the reality with the irreality. You're dealing with something you don't know why you're dealing with, of what you're dealing with. That's why I choose for a transparent chicken. In my brain there was happening an accident in this case. So I brought the living animal with the living material. By bringing those things together you bring the sculpture on another level of thinking because you're dealing with something you don't know where you're dealing with and this is the expression of this piece, the accident. It's a kind of uh, incubator which is uh, a transparent incubator. So they are just waiting to come out. The real world where there is maybe a fight going on, a ballad maybe, or a matting. Nobody knows. But the result of all this, you can bring it back in, this, in these paintings, which are now paintings anymore. This is the painting with the transparent layer of the egg, with the neon, and the neon expects for me, it's the line of life. This is a very silent room. I have a display of 10,000 eggs. Here we have to wait what the outcome is. Every egg has a chance and I will give it a chance to come out. In every egg, there is a different world. In every planet who lays here on the floor, the outcome can be something really different because of a crossbreeding. In a crossbreeding, there is no uniformity. There is only diversity. And maybe we can have this kind of result. Here, I call it genetic genius. Starting again from this little egg who has the chance to come out 
have this whole lifetime to make an evolution to become. And at the end of the table, you have a chicken with two heads. So maybe we are waiting for this kind of creature, which we call a monster, but maybe is the solution for going further. If humanity starts with a chicken to rebuild it into a domesticated chicken, we sign the contract because every living object search for another living object to survive. So in that case, we also have to respect. In this video, I don't want to eat it. I, do, I will reconstruct it again. This is also an expression of the total exposition.